I had lost everything that I'd ever had. My marriage had disintegrated. I'd lost my children. I didn't really know who I was. I pointed the gun to my chest and I pulled the trigger. There's not a single veteran that I know who doesn't know somebody who's committed suicide. We don't even know what's gonna hit us in the next 10 years as a result of the past dozen years of war. It's madness. You couldn't have drawn up a more catastrophic way to fail to meet mental health needs than the blueprints that were followed in this war and that were followed in previous wars. We were not allowed to speak of the unseen wounds of war. We were not allowed to prepare for them. Nobody ever told us about PTSD or what to expect. I was the only credentialed mental health provider for 6,000 Marines. As a Marine, I felt that was an absolute betrayal. We were leaving people behind. You can practically see the demons just raging around inside. What happened just fractured him in a really fundamental way. And he's just like, I gotta do this, even if it's gonna hurt. I wanted to know more about it, but he wouldn't let me in. He just wanted to escape. I've been afraid for what I'm gonna have to go through. We're failing at, at, at that healing part. Something's gotta give. It would make me upset when people would come up to me and say, oh, thank you for your service, welcome home. What do you know about living with these memories? We have to stop referring to veterans as sick. They are holding something for us. How do we approach it in a non-medical, social, political way? The battleground's right here. How many lives can we really affect? How many people's lives we can improve? This is terrifying. I need to talk to you if you'll let me. Let's hear it for our military. We'd like to thank you.